This is Travis Scott, and this is me. This is Travis Scott's chain made by Aliante, and this is an identical remake of the chain that I made to a T. But to understand why I'm staring at Travis Scott and why I remade his chain, we have to take it back a little bit. Travis Scott is a usual performer at Rolling Loud, a festival hosted a few times a year with basically every huge artist. Celebrities come out, artists come out, it's always a banger. So I have a friend who makes music, his name is Ryan Trey, and his manager is Neil. And Neil and Travis are cool. I'm not actually entirely sure what their relationship is, I just know that they hang around each other. And while I was doing some research for a video, I found a dark secret about the jewelry game. Modern day jewelers, whether it be Eliante, Ben Baller, whoever, they overcharge a shit ton for jewelry. They'll take a chain that costs maybe 10, 20, 30k tops to make, and they'll sell it for 150k just because it's a famous rapper. It was like 275,000. <laughs> Yeah, fucking right, 275,000. What is it, made out of 4090s? How is that expensive? Bro, that's more than a 2023 GT3 RS. And those appreciate in value. Offset, I'm sorry, you got finessed. He probably gave you that chain with a shit-eating grin on his face. I honestly don't know how much that would actually cost, but you know what, 5,000 likes and I'll remake it. Not to mention, when they sell a chain to, let's say, Travis Scott for 150K, now every single smaller artist that's gonna want a chain is gonna have to pay that price or damn near it. It's very simple economics, it's supply and demand. And supply and demand is determined by who will pay the most for a product, but jewelers, jewelers are fucking scamming everybody. I'll make another video going into specifics and obviously it depends on like the quality and the sizes of the stones and everything, but a full diamond, natural diamond chain is gonna cost around $15,000 to make and that will that will vary on sizes with millimeters and everything. But if you can't afford natural diamonds, you can always go for the CBD diamonds, which is basically just made with shitty diamonds in a lab. And the price for a full CBD CVD chain and pendant is about eight to nine thousand dollars. Keep in mind, CVD and natural diamonds are basically the same fucking thing. It's just like having a sample shoe versus the release pair. They're, they're the same fucking thing. One is just more expensive because it's a sample. And many jewelers have been exposed for doing exactly this. They charge super high prices for lab made diamonds. One of the most famous jewelers known to do this is none other than Eliante. Sauce Walker called out Eliante. Tracks New York City called out Eliante for doing this exact same thing. Yo, little Uzi. Why are you sitting here saying that it's a $27 million pink diamond in your forehead when it's a $150,000 lab? The point is, little Uzi Vert and your jeweler Eliante, I'm not a hater, I'm not jealous, I'm not here to rag on your business with one another. We want to know why Uzi don't fuck with you, one another little baby don't fuck with you, all these rappers that got jewelry made for you, they didn't buy it because your diamonds is fake. As soon as they go to another jeweler, they put it in a machine, that x-ray machine, they show you these are CBD diamonds, carbon vaccinated diamonds. They're my fucking business, Eliante. I expose your ass. Talk about Triple Red, I don't want to buy. Triple Red will never give you $300,000 again. So me, trying to be a good person, I relayed this information down the chain of command to Travis Scott himself. I was told by people around him to remake one of his chains for him to see in person because while well, hearing this is all dope, right? That's super cool to hear it, but seeing it is 10 fucking times better. And not only that, I heard that he asked about me if I was going to be at Rolling Loud. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Source, trust me, bro. But hey, I did remake his chain independent, so let me show you that now. Here she is. Oh my god. This is Travis Scott's custom pendant and chain made by Eliante, and I think it looks pretty good. Let me get the flashlight out because that's how you can really see. Look, look, look how it's hidden with that flash. It probably doesn't look that good, honestly, but you can see there is a custom flame logo on the bail right there. And I didn't I didn't stop there. Listen, I didn't stop there. There is a custom iced out Eliante branding on the back with the Utopia logo all throughout. This thing is heavy. I even put Eliante branding right there on the latch. Now to open it, it's pretty simple. Uh, we're gonna try it on real quick. You know, why not? It actually fits me pretty good. Check it out. I think as a solo piece, it does look pretty good. Like usually with rappers, they'd like stack this with like a bunch of other chains, but I think this one by itself looks really good. You know what I'm saying? A little suit and tie. You can see, bro, the diamond, dude, they're dancing, bro. Look at that. That looks pretty fucking good. You can see the entire chain's actually a custom. It's like flames all throughout. It looks amazing. Hopefully, Travis Scott wants this because if he doesn't want it for whatever reason, I mean, I don't see myself wearing this. Like, I'm, I'm a fucking Sherm White kid from New Hampshire in Florida. Like, I'm gonna get robbed. Probably killed. Now, the one thing I didn't plan for was not only how we're gonna meet Travis Scott or get near him, but how we're gonna get into the event. I don't know why I didn't plan that. 
I did, however, have one final resort. You see, I'm kind of SOL here on what to do to actually get into Rolling Loud because, like, what? how am I supposed to get into this fucking event, right? But last month, I did actually meet Ski Mass of Sump God, so I'm gonna hope, I'm gonna ask him if he could actually hook us up with some passes. I shot him a message. You know, like, one of those texts where you send it to a girl and you throw your phone, like, in the fucking other side of the room because you don't want to even see if they replied? Yeah, I sent him one of those. I asked for some help, and he uh, actually graciously hooked it up. And with the chain and pendant in hand, we took off. So right now, we are on our way to Rolling Loud. We have a lot of of really shitty traffic in front of us. We want to pick up the passes. Oh my god, that motherfucker, that, see, that, see? Should I follow these motherfuckers? So we're on our way to Rolling Loud. We're trying to beat this traffic because we're meeting up with Ski's manager to get passes from him. We have struggled every bit of the way to get this pendant done, to get everything done. The pendant wasn't even supposed to be done until Sunday. Today's Friday, the pendant wasn't supposed to be done, let alone shipped. It wasn't supposed to be done until Friday, or sorry, Sunday. But we actually got the pendant today. You saw me go to DHL. You saw me actually pick up the pendant. As soon as it landed in Tampa, I drove right to a DHL service point, and I, maybe I had like five minutes to spare on if I had enough time to actually get the pendant from the DHL place because it was already on a delivery truck. The guy already took it out. I literally had to like call them. They had to call him back. He like left and came right back. I was so lucky to get it back. But as you can see, Alex, if you don't mind showing it, we are an hour and five minutes away from Rolling Loud. The Travis Scott pendant is done. I have Travis Scott's in the back. That was all CGI. I don't, you don't, don't worry about that. By a weird string of events, uh, we're in the friends and family tent. You see Tari, that's the guy who owns the event. Um, friends and family are there. I don't know how we really got back here, but we're making it work. I mean, first day of Rolling Loud, we didn't really get to do anything because we were hella late when we drove to Miami. It was already, it was like 2 p.m. when we left, so it was a five hour drive. We did not really get to see much of Rolling Loud, but today is just the first day of like walking around. I wanna go to the car real quick, get a water, but uh, we're just waiting. We're out here Rolling Loud. I don't have my microphone on me. I wish I had it. It's probably pretty loud. We're waiting for Kodak Black set. Shout out to Ski Mask, he gave us, thank you so much to Ski Mask and Slump God. If you are seeing this, you might, you might not. Thank you for giving me the band for the weekend. Living out the dream, you're rolling loud. <laughs> but there's something more important that needed to be done. Travis performs on day two and so did Ski Mask and my friend Ryan. Unfortunately, uh, they didn't let me bring in my camera for day two. I know, fucking ass. Starting off, I watched my homie Ryan perform. It was his first time at Rolling Loud. He even brought me out on stage, my guy. I then went to go watch Ski's performance and I gotta say, words cannot describe how genuinely nice Ski is. His team and everybody are super understanding. They're super nice. Hanging out in his green room area, if you want to call that before his set. I got to meet Kai. Most of AMP were there. I even got to watch his set backstage with Kai, the owner of Ruling Loud, everybody, it was 10 out of 10 experience. <laughs> Right after Ski set was Travis's, and because of the delay in communication, I couldn't even get to him before the show. So I scrambled for a new plan. So right after his set ended, when he was walking off stage, I was gonna try and give him the chain. The only problem is Travis in his performances, uh, he's not really known to be the nicest guy around this sort of time. Get your fucking nerdy ass off the stage, bro. Go. Now you off. But either way, I got to enjoy his set. It was amazing. I've always wanted to see Travis Scott live. I finally got to do it. My favorite part about Travis's performances are his harmonizations. It feels like bro is literally vibrating auto-tune into my soul.
And yes, I was wearing Travis Scott shoes. I know I'm a dick rider. I'm bouncing and creaming. I don't give a fuck. But as the lights dimmed, I made my way backstage. And actually, the weirdest thing happened. Ski pulled up and offered to give Travis the chain himself. Again, I wish I had my camera. I could have recorded all of this, but I'm working off basically a dead iPhone at this point, which could have been an issue because Travis didn't know what chain I was making him. And why would Travis expect Ski Mask to have the chain, right? Like, why would he expect that? We patiently waited for Mr. Jack to walk down those stairs. There he is. Oh my God. That's Mr. Sicko mode right there. But he had no chain in hand. I thought about yelling something, but I didn't want to be riding bros and me like, Trav, Trav, please, please. Like, and I also don't have the chain anymore. So what am I going to be like? Hey, I made your chain, but I don't even fucking have it. Ski came back down and gave me the chain and uh, I got the news. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to make of this. Like, not only did someone just hand you your exact chain, but let alone ski mask did literally the fucking goat. And you say you already have it. Like, what? Does that not make you think like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, what? And I was a little upset too, because you can, you can dub me Travis Scott. All right. You can dub me. You can say, fuck me, whatever. I don't really care. Ski mask is one of the nicest people I've ever fucking met. And the fact that he didn't like inquire a bit more or ask a question, like that kind of pissed me off. I understand that he probably had to leave really fast, but like, it's just annoying that he just didn't even like try to figure something out. But you know, it happens. You can't win them all. It's fine. I did reach out to some people on his team to figure out what happened, but you know what? I'll save that all for a separate video. Thank you to everybody that helped make this possible. Rolling Loud, Ski Mask, Ryan, everybody was amazing time. I love you guys. Join the Discord. Follow me on everything. Peace.